Greetings on this day of Saturn. Saturn rules the sign Capricorn. Uh, Saturn is all about uh, discipline in our lessons. Saturn is our teacher. Okay, come to teach us, discipline us, give us that tough you know, love, all right? Um, so it's typically up to you whether you learn your lessons or not. If you don't, then it can be quite challenging for you, okay? So I wanted to, I wanted to see what Saturn had to communicate on this day. Okay, and today also being um, the 22nd day of the month, okay, dealing with the 2 2. The uh, 2 2 is a master number, okay, the uh, 2 2 is the master teacher, okay, i.e., Saturn, okay. Um, which reduces down to four, okay? Four is Uranus, okay? That is quick action, sudden change, a shift, okay? And um, adding that all up with the month, the day, and year, it gives us 18, which is a nine. Nine is dealing with completions. Nine is ruled by Mars, okay? Mars is aggressive. It's about action. Mars is very bold, okay? Um, so, I'm a, this was a lot, so I'm going to have to shift the cards as I go through them, as I read the messages. So, um, starting with the oracle, Queen of Sheba wanted to appear, okay, had a message, and this came out in reverse, okay, and in the oracle messages, the reverse, rever reversals just means that it's very significant and it's illuminated, okay, um, so this is very you know, <laughs> this is a, 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 a um, imperative message that Queen of Sheba has come to deliver. And that is secrets being revealed. Okay. She is a number 36, which reduces down to a nine. Okay. Our completions. She's from, she's from Ethiopia in the Temple of Queen. She's an element of fire. Okay. So she wants, she's here to tell us to open our eyes, okay, that secrets are being revealed and know that it is safe for you to see the truth, okay? Um, your inner vision is crystal clear. So what you have been intuitively knowing thinking that was, that is correct okay she also wants us to know that um, your creator ancestors angel spirits and ascended masters are whispering to you okay this is divine intelligence so they're giving you that inner vision. So trust it. All right. Pay close attention. They also are giving you signs and synchronicities. Okay. So don't stop yourself from seeing truth. Allow yourself to be guided. The declaration that she comes with is I am connected to the divine. 
I am connected to the divine. I am connected to the divine. She also aligns with the third eye, okay? Dealing with intuition, the knowing, okay? So yes, what you intuitively knew is the truth, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck was shine, okay? Mama Jumbo, number 32, reduce them to five. So, and this is resilience. This is strength. This is Capricorn energy. This is the trailblazer, the leader. Okay, with this goat hair, this goat energy. Um, the element of bush, grounding. So when these truths, secrets are revealed, you need to remain grounded and you need to stand strong and be resilient. Okay, cosmic power was peeping out of under here. This is divine um, Mother and Divine Father, okay? And so going in and utilizing your cosmic power, connecting, okay? Connecting to spirit to support you and help you in this, okay? When these secrets are revealed. And then, move all of this down, we had Allah. Number 29, reducing down to a number 11. Number 11 is also a master number. That is the psychic master. So, again, connecting with spirit using your intuition, okay? And um, using your, you know, your mystical powers. So she's the goddess of grief, <clears throat> the temple of lovers, element of bush again. And she oversees motherhood, fertility, and the um, afterlife, okay? She is the ancient earth mother. She's foremost, she is the foremost Igbo deity, okay? And uh, after death, the humans return to the womb of Allah replanted in the soil or the soul, my apologies, to reincarnate, reincarnate. Okay. She wants us to know to give your grief to spirit. Okay. So this secret is being revealed is going to cause grief, which grief is a normal emotion, but we can't be, stay stuck in that energy, okay? So she calls for us to surrender our grief to spirit, to cry out, to wail out, to bawl out, okay? Sigh, uh, shriek, shred your tears, and surrender it. Okay. The only way to healing is to go, to go through it, to walk through it. All right. Losing a loved one is the ultimate heartbreak, but you also experience grief after breakups, a job loss, and just disappointments. You go through grief. Okay. So she wants us to also know that self-love and self-care are required at this time. So ask for support and be gentle with yourself. And her declaration is, I am supported by my loved ones, those who are seen and those who are unseen, okay? Mind you, it says loved ones. We're talking about true love, not the unrequited love, not people that are love bombing you, okay? 
not people that are you are trauma bonding with. We talking about true love. Okay. So with that being said, I wanted to clarify Queen of Sheba secrets revealed. Okay, very significant message right here, right? So I asked. Um, what secrets are being revealed and what is the outcome, okay? So we have here the Seven of Wands, okay? So this was... You being in this defensive mode and you standing up for yourself and fighting off all of these ops, these traitors, okay? Standing on truth, okay? And, um, they wanted you to lose your resilience, your um, passion, your strength. They wanted to exert you, okay? And then what came out was this Ten of Swords in reverse with the Four of Wands. So these were portrayals, okay, against your home, your family, the home setting, okay? Constant, constant, constant portrayals to interfere in your stability, okay? To take you away from anything and anybody that you supported and or supported you, okay, loved you, your foundation, your home, okay, affecting your household and everyone in it, pretty much, okay. The tens, you know, um, is a one, so... This is an ending to this for the new beginnings to come in. It is in reverse. So it's new beginnings here. Okay. This is, they can't do no more. This is it. They done done enough. They did too much. Okay. So it's time to, for the Grim Reaper to come on in. This two of swords. They wanted to keep you blinded from the truth, okay? They wanted to keep you emotional, basically, you know, um, to throw you off, to throw your intuition off, to have you confused and in your emotions, okay? And that could have been, you know, either, you know, and and or love bombing you. Um, and um, yeah, with the water here. Okay. But yeah, and they wanted to keep you blind. Just, just out of the loop. Um, but you went within and you sat still and you closed your eyes and you went into meditation. You went into seclusion, okay? And used your intuition, okay? 
you, uh, this was uh, mind over matter. Uh, to to um, see the truth. Okay. And to balance things out within yourself. Okay. Then the Six of Cups and this Ten of Wands came out together. So with the Six of Cups being here, this is also the burdens that these people wanted to put on you, okay? And this could have been going on for a very long time, even past life, okay? So this is generational, okay? This is a, this is a, 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 a spirit generationally that has been attached possibly to your family, okay? Um, that no one has conquered. But you. And this is also dealing with family, you know, uh, saying, you know, that possibly that this is, you know, these are things that has been happening to you since you were a child that the family was playing a part of. So this is most definitely what they call a karmic family. Um, a family that was be that was able to um, be used to um, to be able to be used, you know, because they were very weak. So they were very um, karmic and toxic. So with that, and and you know. Uh, my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. So they didn't know how to defend themselves from these entities, these spirits, you know, um, that was following the family around generationally. Okay. And I say that word family loosely because family don't do this. Family is love and true love and true support. Um, family don't hurt don't betray. So I'm going to say relatives. Okay. Um, keep the connection very minimal. Um, and it just don't go no farther than that. Because, like I said, family don't do this to one another. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they... This was continuous. This was a long time happening. Okay. And then we have the justice here. Okay. Bringing balance and bringing harmony. Here with the sword of truth <clears throat> to bring to balance the scales out. Okay. So this is a victory. This is justice. This is liberation. Okay, so you broke the curse. This is it, all right? This is allowed freedom, victory, movement with the chariot being here. This <clears throat> opened the door to your ace of pentacles, okay? Your infinite abundance, okay? Your stability, material wealth, so that you can create a true legacy, something that your relatives have not done, okay? And um, so you're able to do that. And this is also um, paying the debt, your ancestral debts, okay? And... Um, your ancestors that are that were assigned to work for your highest good 
were supporting you and they are honoring you and proud of you for breaking these curses. And it also sets them free in the spirit realm, okay? And here's the Wheel of Fortune. So this is how we know that this is divine timing, one. The wheel has, uh, it, you know, what goes around comes around. So this is time now to pay what you reap, what you sow, okay? This is Jupiter energy, Sagittarius energy, okay? So this is fortune. This is fortune being returned to you, fortune that was owed to you, fortune that you are your inheritance, okay, is here. All right. Then we have the Aquarius up here. Aquarius dealing with evolving. Okay. Um, the sign that harmonizes with Aquarius is uh, Leo. Okay. Dealing with uh, leadership, rulership. Okay. So you're evolving now to the new leadership. Okay, rulership, or that of a royal one, okay? That that is centered around spiritual transformation, okay? With the Scorpio being here, Scorpio is about death and transformation, spirituality, all right? Opposite of that is Taurus, okay? So you have transformed your uh, values to that of a higher one, okay? So this is why now it's divine timing that you're receiving your Ace of Pentacles and you're able to move freely without any restrictions, okay? Unrestricted, all right? And if anybody get in your way at this moment in time, this is the chariot. And this is to represents the number seven. The chariot is the Holy Grail. The chariot is very, is highly protected. You are going to face some energies, okay, entities that you don't want to face, okay, in the spiritual realm, all right? And they also may use things and or people in the physical to do their biddings. So you don't want to mess with that because they're highly protected. And at this stage, oh no, you don't want to make that mistake. Not at all. Okay. So we're going to move this over. And we're going to come on over here to... Hmm. Move this too much because this is a lot of cars here. My goodness, here we go. So, with a lot of grief, and I just I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm saying a lot, so that's what it's gonna be. The goddess of grief, okay. So, with this uh goddess of grief, I asked who will be in grief and why. So the first card that came out was the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups for me represents it's a, uh, the Cancer water sign. Okay, the Queen of Cups is uh, mother energy, nurturing, loving. Okay, Cancer being the most loving zodiac sign. Okay, and nurturing zodiac sign. That is the mother sign and the money sign. Okay. Um, grounded here, okay, and um, she did the work to be in this, in this, you know, energy here, so this is just not by chance, so no, it was work that had to be put in to get here, okay, um, you had to right some wrongs, you had to clear out some things and purge some things, people, places, and, you know, things, so, this Queen of Cups is going to experience this grief after these secrets is revealed, okay, um, because 
of the Eight of Swords. Okay. The Eight of Swords that these ops, these adversaries, wanted to put her in. Okay. Wanted to keep her confined and limited in her mind. Okay. Not in her right mind, not being in her right mind. Okay. And uh, wanted to, conf you know, confuse her, 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 the way she thinks, you know, and that would cripple her. Okay. Would restrict her from growing and evolving and being on her divine path because not yet has anyone in your so-called family, your relatives, was able to really be on the divine purpose. One, they've so stuck and um, spellbound to the religion is one reason why, okay? The demonic religion that, you know, um, people were given, you know, especially our people to keep them docile, to keep them from using their spirituality, okay, to keep them from connecting to true self, to true spirit, okay, evolving and being able to be on their spiritual path, okay. They thinking that they have a religious path is to uh, pray to someone outside of themselves that is imaginary and they have to hear somebody else tell them how it's going to be, you know, a man on the pulpit or a woman on the pulpit, you know, tell them how to live their life and, you know, yeah. So that keeps you from your divine purpose, okay? And um, when you are Especially when you're doing demonic things like this, you have to wonder, well, really, who is the God that they're praying to? Who is the God that they're really following? But when you look at the history of Christianity, you know, and who was really connected to it, then you see that the, the curse and the spell that was put on a people, okay? Because it's a curse and it's a spell. That's exactly what it is. <clears throat> So, yeah, it was that, okay, and they were plotting, working very hard and relentless to do this, to bring conflict, Conf conflict, you know, in a lot of different ways. Okay. Yeah, bring constant conflict a lot of different ways, okay? A lot of different forms just to keep this Queen of Cups in continuous conflict to try to make it seem like uh, she was the problem, okay? And then they come and cause these conflicts directly with this Queen of Cups, and, you know, and this is narcissistic behavior, you know, and projecting, and then they try to act like the victim, and then act like 
you know, she did something to them. Okay, especially if she reacts to their actions towards her. Okay. So, yeah, uh, and what else? Oh, oh my cars, come on now. Yeah, so they, and it also could have involved, you know, stealing money. Okay. Holding back money from this Queen of Pentacles. Okay. But. There's clarity here. I'm trying to see the order I had all of these cards in because I had them in a way where I can. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so I think that was pretty much. Okay, yeah, okay, all of this was here. Oh, this was a lot of cards, you know? So, yeah, so there's clarity here. And, you know, they try to withhold money um, and, and hold her her back, okay, interfered with her money, okay, from her making money, however that was, and holding money, so they could have stole, stole money, okay, um, that was, belonged to this Queen of Cups, or was owed to this Queen of Cups, okay, but there's clarity. There's a breakthrough that's here, okay? The clarity of truth, of victory with this Ace of Swords here. And that's why the secrets revealed was there, okay? Um, so, with that being said, um, this was the why. And then I went on to ask who played a part in these betrayals that caused grief to this Queen of Cups, okay? And then that's when all of this came out. <laughs> so it was a, oh my gosh, it was a King of Swords. So somebody, maybe, you know, a owner, um, Someone in a leadership position somewhere, okay? The, um, hmm. I took some notes on this part here because I wanted to really, really, really go dive deep in. So, the King of Swords is Gemini energy, air energy, specifically Gemini, okay? Doesn't have to meet, the, you know that these were the actual um, signs because, you know, you can have Gemini anywhere, you know, in your, in, your, in your birth chart. But however, a king of swords, so someone in a leadership position, okay? A page of cups in reverse, this is a Pisces energy, okay? Page is dealing with, you know, youth, so a uh, child or children, uh, em uh, emotional, unstable child or children of this Queen of Cups, okay? Um, with the Emperor here, again, someone um, of some type of authority somewhere, not authority over this Queen of Cups, <laughs> okay? But in some type of leadership position, again, this is Aries energy. Okay, um, so could have been an Aries, you know, also, this, this, this consisted of a lot of people in groups, so this is why so much came out, okay, uh, the devil, this is Capricorn energy, so this could have been a Capricorn involved somewhere, huh, and, um, they were very obsessed. And um, this also, to me, is the demonic ties on the spirit and physical that they were connected with to do this. Okay, This was obsession. This was wanting power and control over this Queen of Cups. Okay, um, This was wanting to siphon this Queen of Cups energy. Okay, 
wanted to keep this Queen of Cups, you know, bound mentally, okay, wanted in far and also materially, okay, and foundationally. And this Three of Cups here is just representing the group, a group of people that partake, partook in this betrayal that worked together, collaborated together, okay, in this. And, and, and then with this Six of Pentacles here, um, one represents the uh, money exchange to do this. Also with this Three of Pentacles, okay, people could have been paid to portray this Queen of Cups. And this also Six Pentacles is also people that were connected to this Queen of Cups that she gave love to, that she gave to, energy to, um, shared finances with some kind of fashion, shape, or form, and gave to, whether it was her energy, her advice, her time, her knowledge, whatever it was, okay? This um, lovers here being, um, you know, a uh, intimate, um, not intimate, but a connection of some kind, okay? Um, it could have been, it doesn't necessarily have to be a love connection. It could, it could be family, you know, and connections some kind of way that formed some type of uh, bond that formed some type of alliance, okay, some kind of way. And um, this is what I'm saying. I get confused because I have this. There's some of these. I wanted to specify which ones came out together. If they came out together, then it was this is a King of Cups, okay. So this is a Pisces here, this King of Cups. The Lovers is a Gemini. Um, this Three of Pentacles is uh, Mars in Capricorn, okay? The Six of Pentacles is Moon in Taurus, okay? And I think these three came out together, okay? They wanted... So they wanted a wish fulfillment for this betrayal, for this deception, uh, for this thievery. Um, they were planning, you know, um, for a while to for, to take control. Okay, um, they were doing this with a lot of uh, eagerness, with a lot of passion. I mean, they were serious about this, just destroying the life and the posterity of this queen of cups and had a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon, you know, um, 10 of cups dealing with family. Okay. So most definitely relatives, okay, <laughs> were a part of this. Okay. This could have also been children. Okay, that was a part of this. And whether they were up under spells, you know, um, to do this. Okay, now you can 
cast a spell by what you're speaking, what you're saying, um, and getting into somebody's mental, okay? You can have them up under spell as well. Spells are just not just, you know, spells are also like word witchery, okay? Know that, okay? So also a mother. This empress represents mom, a mother, okay? The empress um, being uh, Venus energy, you know, um, Taurus. So a mother also took place in uh, took part of this betrayal and with this knight of pentacles here this lets me know and this is also Taurus energy that this has been going on for a very long time the knight of pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck okay so um, this family has it's a karmic family okay that were actually placed to stop the destiny of this Queen of Cups, okay? So this is why this has been going on for a very long time. And then the Knight of Pentacles holding this, this pentacle is the um, the stability, the um, creativity, um, the abundance, okay? The gifts that this Queen of Cups had, okay? They, had, they came here with a divine purpose, and the family's mission was to stop them, i.e. this mother. Okay. I'm going to pause again. 